In the past, when you built with glass block, you had to actually do it just like brick or concrete block where you set them in wet mortar. That takes an incredible amount of skill. They completely revolutionized that and now you use these simple plastic spacers. This particular small spacer creates an equal space between each block as you put them side by side and this longer spacer creates perfect spacing between each glass block as you build the different rows. The wet concrete mortar eventually hardens and that's what locks together all the glass block. Well, we don't use that now. We're going to just use regular silicone caulk and believe me, when it cures, it gets very hard. The glass block have to rest on some type of curb. It can easily be made out of two by sixes, two by eights, concrete, whatever. But once the block's placed, now you've got plenty of time. You have to make sure that it's plumb up the face or level across the top. We've got to put on our first vertical spacer and we do that right now by just squishing it into the block. Now we're going to continue the exact same process for each block all the way across and for the next row. To keep the glass block from tilting over, you actually have to use these hidden anchors that interlock into the horizontal spacers. You just slide it in, and then when this spacer is placed on the next row, you screw it in and you're ready to go. I told you glass block was cool. Check this out. You can build anything you want practically. Use your imagination. This is going to be an interior greenhouse for my wife, Kathy. I'm Tim Carter, Ask the Builder. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.